You have reached the Princeton Public Library and you have joined us for our Friday story times. Um, this time we are having a special story time with Mr. Mike Webb, who is the city manager for the city of Princeton. So this is Mike. Hello. Um, we decided to do a special story time, a little bit out of the box. I know you're used to Miss Laura. Um, but we're going to start branching out and having some people from the city and from the community come and share story times with you. So, I will let you take it away. Good to see everybody today. Uh, today we'll be reading a book called Who Wants to Be a Cheap Pride Authoress by Shel Silverstein. A cheap rhinoceros. I'm the one for sale. With floppy ears and floppy feet and friendly wacky tail. He's sweet and fat and huggable. He's quiet as a mouse and there's lots of things that he can do around your house. For instance, you can use him for a coat hanger. He is a terrific back scratcher. And he makes a very lovely lamp. He will eat bad report cards before your parents see them. But he's not too great at opening doors. He makes a good, bloody, ferocious pirate. He will open soda cans for your uncle. And on Sunday, you can read him the comics. He will be glad to turn the jump rope. If he gets his turn. He's not too careful about where, where he walks, but he's very handy for collecting extra allowance for you from your father. He makes an unsinkable battleship, but he's not too interested in taking his bath. It is very comfortable when you sit on his lap, but not too comfortable when he sits on yours. He's terrific at helping your grandmother make donuts. And he is great for not letting your mother hit you when you really haven't done anything bad. He is very nice about crawling into bed with you on cold winter nights. And he's pretty good at tiptoeing downstairs for a midnight snack. And he'll gladly eat scraps from the table. He is terrific at being Ben and Charlie, two desperate crooks. And he loves to surprise you. He will be glad to help your aunt knit a sweater. Especially if it's for him. He is careful about not leaving rhino tracks around the house. He tiptoes through the house with a shoe on his horn. He is fun to take care of when he's sick. And he is great for buying your field if you're a farmer. He is hard to build a house for, as big as he is. And he is lots of fun at the beach. Because he is great at imitating a shark. He is wonderful for playing records if you have no record player. And on Halloween you can dress him up as a girl, but he won't like it. He loves to play hide and seek. He is good for yelling at it. But mostly he is easy to love. Yeah. Who wants a cheap rhinoceros?